The content of this podcast has not been reviewed or approved by official sources. We are solely responsible for its content. Brought to you in association with Two Black Labs Audio. This is... A Week in Geekdom! Alright everybody, welcome to episode 2 of A Week in Geekdom Reviews. No, Whoa. I am not gone. Even though I haven't been here for three episodes on, you know, the podcast, I am still alive and I'm here and I'm going to do episode two for an an even better comic book than Gio did. Which one do you do? Uh, hey, everybody. I reviewed, I believe it was Batman Year One on DVD and Blu-ray last episode, episode one. Precisely. This is even better than that. Um, so, yeah. One of my favorite new titles from The New 52, Batman and Robin. Take a look right there. I have every issue, by the way. It's amazing. Uh, Peter J. Tomasi did the did the story. Uh, Patrick Gleason did the art. The art is amazing, especially the covers. Very colorful covers, as you can see. This is my favorite episode. Um, issue number three. Um, so yeah. First off, I already said, but the, the art is amazing, both inside and outside. Dude, you need to chill. Seriously. All right. Um, the art is amazing, as I said. Very colorful art. Um, but the story. By the way, I'm, I'm advising you guys, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't read it, you probably should do that before you see this review because I'm going to spoil a whole lot of stuff. Um, basically, the story starts with Batman and Robin, the new Batman, which is, again, Bruce Wayne says the new 52, and the new Robin, which is Damien. So they are adjusting to their new... Father son sidekick slash relationship because Batman is dealing with the fur for the first time ever having a uh, Robin that is his son, so he's gonna be naturally more protective of him. And Damien is getting used to having Bruce, who is a lot more stricter than the Grayson was when he was Batman, so the chemistry is completely different. And uh, you know, their, their chemistry is rough to say the least because. They don't agree with how each other that each one of them decides to do business. Batman is very straight and narrow. The um, Damien is more on the violent side, and uh, yeah, that's basically the whole problem, which uh, brings into you know the picture the new villain, who you see again, issue three. Isn't it awesome? I love this issue. Um, nobody, who. For one reason or another, we still don't, well, we, we do, but I'm not going to spoil that much, uh, knows who Bruce Wayne is. And the problem is that this guy is actually is very well trained. Like, he could go one-on-one -on -one with Batman. He he pretty much beat Batman really, really bad on, on issue three. But the main problem with this guy is he's trying to, to bring out, um, how do I say this? Damien's dark side, his urge to kill, and you could see it. At one of the one uh, great finish, I think it was issue two. You can see uh, Damien is like getting pissed that he cannot, you know, go go that extra mile which he used to go because he was trained in the, by the League of Assassins. So he just takes a random bat in the back cave and squashes him. And if that doesn't mean that guy, that that kid's got some urge to kill, I don't know what else he could possibly get. Um. So he's trying to to get Damien, uh, nobody's trying to get Damien to go, you know, kind of dark side on us, like uh, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> and um, Star Wars reference. Very big. It, it's basically, this is basically Obi-Wan and Anakin and uh, the Emperor. This is basically, that's basically, that's the pretty good analogy of exactly just what's going on right now. And, um, well... Episode, and I think it was issue three again, one of the best. Um, Damien fights some thugs and goes the extra mile, and he basically leaves one of them. Uh, I don't know if he killed him or left him like a vegetable. Uh, you remember uh, you? I think it was comatose. I think he left him comatose, which is obviously a line Batman doesn't cross. He'll break every single bone in your body, but he won't do that to you. And he knows this. Nobody knows this, and he is. Pretty much bribing uh, Damien 
to not tell Batman, like, do as I'm gonna tell you, or, or, you know, I might have to tell your dad what you, what you did, which is, you know, it, it, it's pretty, it's a pretty cool story, because if you mess up something, like, I wouldn't say you messed up something like that, but we have, a, at some point, we've messed up, and we wouldn't want our parents to know, <laughs> especially if we look up to them, which Damien does, he just pissed off at, you know, because he can't go that extra mile. Uh, so yeah, I recommend pick each and every one of them. Do not delay. I can't wait till issue five, and then I gotta wait like a whole month. Um, even though I have a whole lot more fifty-two, I gotta read. I'm I'm behind because I just got basically the best game ever made, and I can't believe I'm saying that. In Skyrim, and it's taking a lot of my comic book time. <laughs> but, but I'm. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> but I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna catch up on everything. Pick up Batman and Robin. It's awesome. Pick up Batman too. It's awesome too. And uh, so what am I rating this? I, 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 I'd I like to be conservative and say it's a 4.5. <laughs> but um, I mean it's amazing. I, I give it a 5 out of 5. I love the art. I love the story. It hasn't let me down at all at any point yet. And I can't, as I said, I can't wait to get number five. So, yeah, five out of five. Take that to the bank and buy it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this has been episode two. Hopefully, I'll see you on, well, not the next episode because that's Geo's turn. Uh, but I'll probably be here for number four. And if, God willing, I manage to find time and I finish it, it'll probably be Skyrim. So, look for that. Um, see you later, guys. Happy Christmas, Merry New Year. This has been a week in Geekdom Reviews. They know me, I'm Brian. <laughs> Laters.